Hello guys, I'm Mr. Mechanic and I'm here with another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to uh, design this 3D model in SOLIDWORKS and for doing that, firstly, uh, we draw the sketch then we will extrude the sketch. Uh, before getting started, uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and post your comments. So, uh, let's get started as soon as is possible. Uh, here I have the dimensions and uh, firstly, I have to close this model. Uh, for closing the model uh, in SOLIDWORKS, you have to come in here and click on uh, close. Now you have to create a new part. Uh, for making a new part, uh, uh, come here and click on new part. Okay. And uh, now we have a new part. Uh, first thing first, we have to choose a plane to draw the uh, sketch. Uh, it doesn't matter which plane firstly you choose, but uh, I suggest you to choose the front plane. We mostly uh, use the front plane. Uh, at first, so uh, choose, uh, click on the fr uh, front plane and uh, click on a sketch. Now we have an open a sketch. You can see here the sketch. Uh, firstly, we have to um, draw a circle. So here I choose circle. I choose two point circle, and you can see as I get close to the origin point, an orange point here appears. It means uh, it means that if I click on this orange point, uh, the center of the circle will be connected to the origin point. So I draw a circle. And here in a smart dimension, I choose a smart dimension, and the dimension of this circle is uh, 80 millimeter. And now we have to uh, draw uh, three circles. So here I choose two point circle, and I draw three circles here, and here, and here. So uh, if you can't see the dimensions or the, uh, or the relations, uh, come here, click on hide and show items, and you can turn on or turn off the uh, a sketch uh, relations or the dimensions so uh, all of these uh, three circles uh, have the same uh, dimension uh, and I'm going to apply the equal uh, relation so hold the console button on your keyboard and choose these uh, three circles and in add relation give it equal relation now uh, the center of uh, these two arcs here must be vertical to the origin points and uh, I have to choose these three point here hold the control button and choose this three point and in other direction give it vertical relation and this point here must be horizontal to the origin point so hold the control button and choose this point and the origin point and give it horizontal relation now choose a smart dimension the dimension of this circle is um, 10 millimeter and the dimension from uh, this point to the origin point is um, 28 millimeter and the dimension from uh, this point to this point is um, 28 millimeter. And the dimension from this point to this point is um, 28 millimeter. Now I have to choose line. I'm going to draw a line here. So I choose line and I, and, uh, I start drawing the line from the circle. So I draw a line. And you can see as I um, uh, move the uh, line, a yellow symbol here appears. It, uh, it means that if I click on the screen, the horizontal uh, relation will be automatically applied to my line. And uh, now I choose, uh, I uh, click on the escape button on my keyboard, and now I choose the three point arc. I draw an arc. And the center of the arc must be this side of the sketch. Please be careful. Now again choose the line and connect the arc to the circle here and right click select to exist the tool. Uh, the center of the arc must be coincident to the uh, origin point and for doing that simply uh, choose this point and the origin point and give it a merge relation. It doesn't matter coincident or the merge relation. Now we have to make the arc uh, uh, tangents to do uh, to these lines so hold the console button and choose this arc and the line here and give it tangent relation and do the same thing here tangent relation uh, our sketch is not uh, still fully defined because it is uh, still moving and uh, here choose a smart dimension the radius of this arc is a uh, 15 millimeter now all we have to do is just trim this uh, part here so I uh, choose trim entity and uh, remove uh, this part and okay uh, 
Now all we have to do is just extrude the sketch. Our sketch is fully defined and uh, the sketch is uh, closed loop. And here coming feature, if you don't have the feature tab, uh, right click and you can turn on the feature in your SolidWorks. So here, uh, choose the uh, extruded boss and base. It must be a sketch plane, here must be blind. And uh, here, selected contour, you have to choose uh, this region and uh, you have to extrude this sketch about uh, 5 millimeter and uh, please don't turn on these options we'll go through all of these options uh, in the uh, many other videos uh, but uh, just uh, do the same thing uh, i'm doing here and click on ok and uh, we designed the 3d model uh, you can change the color you can change the appearance uh, uh, here choose the part and in edit and uh, in uh, edit appearance you can uh, change the color for example i can change it to a uh, green uh, purple uh, red or the green is much better yes uh, here is the 3d model uh, please do practicing at home um, i will uh, leave the link of uh, this dimension uh, below the caption uh, please do it yourself and practice at home uh, i have uploaded over 30 videos on my youtube channel about drawing the sketch drawing a sketch is very very important and um, uh, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and put your comments uh, thanks for watching this video